Let's take a look at the chain play feature. By pressing the chain play button, we can select one of the chain files off the disk. Well, in this case, there is only one file. So let's select that. You'll notice that the file extension is .svc in this case. Well, under the file name, we'll see a listing of the various songs that have been chained together. And this is the specific order that these songs will play in. Well, I can change my selection of song, just like that. I can also change the playback nature of that particular song. For example, I can segue the songs so that song one will play followed by song two continuously. Or I can make song two wait so that after song one has finished playing, I then have to restart the sequence, the chain, by hitting the play button. Alternatively, I can load files into memory at specific points, particularly handy when you're using data files or song files. Over here, you see the loop mode. We can set it to repeat so that when the chain is completed, it then starts again from the top, or just a one-way playback. And finally, creating your own chain play is very, very easy. Let's go to F3, clear all. Clear all step, OK. That removes the current selection. Now, if we highlight the word end, I can select play, wait, or load. Let's set that to play. And then my song selection for step number one, song five. Curse it down. Again, select play, my song selection. And this, for example, could just be a two song chain play. Once that's done, I can press F5 and store it to my disk. Won't work in this case because the demo disk is write protected.